Think they want to see the inside of the ambulance? Mm, probably. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> What's up everyone? Hi. Today we want to go through the ambulance and show you where we're at, um, kind of the ideas we have in place for moving forward before we get on the road. Um, but before we get into that, I really want to touch base on some of the things that we've already done in the past three years. We've owned the ambulance for almost three years um, and we kind of just did it in stages. We started off actually the first weekend we had it. I, <laughs> I built a fold out bed and we went and used it the next weekend and it was 17 degrees outside it and it was freezing. It was raining inside because of moisture and everything Bad. else. And it, was, it was a mess. So from there, uh, we have been piecing it together over the past couple years, um, making sure the mechanicals are good to go, um, adding in hot water, running water, solar batteries, all of that type of stuff. And this is really, we're kind of moving into phase two of the build. Um, phase one, like again, was just piecing it all together. Now we're kind of finalizing things now that we know where we like stuff, the layout we want. Mm -hmm. Crystal wants certain things in her kitchen because she loves to cook. Yeah. So um, that is a big thing for on the road and we'll kind of go over that when we're going through the inside of the ambulance. So you ready? Let's do it. Boop. So this is my side of the ambulance. Things that we have been collecting over the years, a stove, a sink, a faucet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make this all one level and we're gonna raise this up so it can be a nice work surface. Make some more headroom here, tear these cabinets out and um, hopefully have a pull up table and maybe some drawers here under, this, under the bed. So um, everything's completely close by and I can just get things up real quick. So yeah. This is going to be my area and I am looking forward to this build. Originally we had our bed here. We were talking about the fold out bed earlier and it came out here and it took up the whole entire space when we had the bed out. It was a nightmare of pulling it in and out all the time. So we decided just recently, this was within the past couple months, we made the bed fully across the back. This opens up a couple things. One, it gives us so much room underneath here. Like Crystal said earlier, for drawers, we'll have a garage out the back with pull-out shelves and everything like that. But it is so nice when you're driving for long days and you just want to get in bed, you get out of the driver's seat, you walk back here, you're done. Like it, that, it's perfect. It works really well. We do have a TV around the corner. So if we want to watch TV, easily pull that out. We can relax. The screen in the back door comes down so we can leave the back doors open, be bug free all the time which is great um, so well the other thing that this did it, it opened up some of our bench seat storage here which we did lose before when we had our bed here so this is going to be modified slightly but even for now when we open this up there's so much room underneath here obviously filled with junk right now but um, this allows for even more storage throughout the entire ambulance one of the great things with the ambulance and we have really taken advantage of this um, in our current build is all the storage compartments everywhere in here. All these were already in and ready to go. We stash our clothes in this side. She has one, I have one. That might need to grow now that we're gonna go full time, but we'll see how that goes. There's more storage cabinets back here. We have these. Some of these are probably gonna be removed, but we've been talking about how to reuse them because they're such nice cabinets. Um, so hopefully we can rework them into the build and be able to have all the storage all around us. So coming towards the front of the ambulance, this area is probably going to change slightly too. Currently, um, we have a refrigerator here. It sits on top of the batteries. Uh, we have 440 amp hours of AGM right now. It's probably going to be switched out to lithium to give us a little bit more power. Um, but the fridge, like I said, is currently here. We're probably gonna get a bigger refrigerator, which will slide underneath the bed on a drawer. Um, we're still gonna stick with the chest style fridge. It seems to work really well, except we're gonna go with a dual zone, which I have to have my ice cream. We can't go without ice cream. That's <laughs> you not can't a thing. Go yep. No, we we might just turn both sides <laughs> into a freezer so I can have a lot of ice cream. We don't need any other food. We'll be alright. Oh my gosh. So uh, one of the things that we are so undecided about. 
is this chair. It's a very love-hate relationship. It is so much in the way, but it's really the only comfortable spot we have to sit right now. <laughs> so if you have any ideas for that, shoot some comments down below. Let, let's hear what you have to say, all right? Um, right now, it's going to stay, but we'll see. Um, up front, Crystal's thing. She wants new seats. I do. These Ford van seats that are almost 20 years old, they're pretty shot. They're bad. So um, long distance driving does become very uncomfortable. Um, but we were thinking about new seats, possibly putting them on a swivel. And if we do that, then we can swivel these around. We can get rid of this and it would still give us a comfortable spot to sit while we're at camp. Um, one of the other things up this way, there used to be cabinets here. We removed all of that and it really opened up the space. We used to have this little tiny tunnel mm -hmm. that you would have to squeeze through with the door. Um, having this open really opens up the space in the entire ambulance and it works really well. Um, the last thing up here, which we feel is needed because we've gone long day or long couple weeks, weeks without showers. <laughs> um, we currently have an outdoor shower, which we'll get to in a minute, but this here, this cabinet, we are going to remove this and our indoor shower will be in this portion of the ambulance. Woo! That build is still under construction. We'll figure that out on the way. Um, and we'll have a complete video on how we did that shower once it comes to that time too. So we're kind of stoked to have an indoor shower and- Not only an indoor shower, but a toilet too. Yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> a, a real toilet. A real one. <laughs> yes. So, Shamefully, we've been using the bucket system, and if anybody out there knows what the bucket system is, you know how crappy that is. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> no. Um, so for that, that is the inside of the ambulance with our kitchen, sleeping area, shower, refrigerator, storage galore. Let's move on to the outside. So on the outside, moving down from the entrance door, we have this small compartment right now this is for tools, spare parts, things like that. This may change to have the diesel heater in it. I'm not 100% certain yet, but it is a good little compartment for tools currently. It works out really well. Our climbing wall, this is our ladder to get to the top. Didn't want to put a whole ladder on, so this seemed to work really well. This used to be complete cabinet with gear storage. We cut this down so we could add our bed in here. We do have a screen, so it allows bug-free air ventilation, which is great. Um, it still is gear storage right now and kind of a mess, but again, more storage is even better. Can't forget the bottle opener. So as we talked about earlier, we have the bed. This is gonna be our garage storage, which is gonna be awesome. Tons and tons of room under here. We also have this pull-down screen which works great. It comes down, locks in place, and auto retracts. So this area is going to be uh, a lot of construction to get it to where we need to be, but we're looking forward to it. So this cabinet is kind of a mess. Um, you know, we talked about our bucket system earlier. That's where this gets stored. It kind of becomes our trash closet when we're on the road. Any other little odds and ends. And right now we do have the diesel heater in here with a two gallon tank for the diesel heater. Um, like I said, that may move. Right now, it works really well here. Moving on to the water system and water closet. So a lot of this is going to change. Um, a lot of these cabinet areas here, these are gonna be cut, so that way we can access this from the inside and outside. This still will have our plumbing and things like that. Right now, the propane runs our hot water heater, which we'll get to in a minute. It also runs our stove and oven on the inside. This is our small gray water tank. It just comes straight down from the sink. Easy access, easy to dump out. Works really well right now. Um, 12 volt pump. It is set up right now to where if we found a spring or anything like that, we can hook up a hose. I can turn a couple valves. It will use the pump to refill the tank in the next closet. That we've used a couple times and it has really come in handy. This closet, this is where the shower is gonna go. Right now, it houses about 30 plus gallons of water. Um, the reason the hoses are the way they are is because we do have some panels in here, so sometimes I have to take this out. This is gonna be probably the biggest project that we have to work on um, for the entire thing. 
but we do have our propane hot water heater. Um, this is our outdoor shower. Works really easy. Everything is right here. Um, we have used the outdoor shower many times, uh, but we are looking forward to the indoor shower, which if we open the door, we can still have an outdoor shower. So one of the nice things about buying an ambulance is a lot of the electrical work is already done. Now, some of it is a complete nightmare and you really have to dig through millions and millions of wires. However, they do have all of the outlets already wired into the whole interior. We do have shore power, so all we have to do is plug in here with a normal extension cord. It will charge our batteries. It'll run anything we need to inside, which is awesome that I don't have to rig all of that up because it's already done for us. Well, let's go take a look at the solar up top. All right, so right now we have one panel up here that is 375 watts. I do have two more of these panels. I'm probably only gonna stick with two instead of going three. I think 750 watts all said and done will be good to go with our lithium batteries that we're gonna get. Um, with that, we have uh, a whole roof rack that I made out of 8020. What's really nice about this is it attaches, the perimeter attaches in a couple spots, but then you can easily unbolt and reconfigure anything up here to the perimeter. And it makes it very easy. So when I go and I need to change these solar panels around, all I have to do is unbolt a bunch of these bars and I can shift this around, add more, add less, whatever. And it makes it very, very modular. The other thing we have in the back corner here is our Max Air Fan. Definitely comes in handy for heat, trying to get the propane out when we're using the stove, all of that. Um, we have thought about adding another one up front here to cover uh, when we have the shower installed, but that's still up for debate. We'll see what happens there. So we're looking forward to this ambulance build, and if you have any ideas, please shoot it to the comments below. We'll be sure to put them into consideration. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour, um, and stay tuned because all the projects that are going to happen inside of here. We'll have videos for each one breaking down the process, what we're using, and it's not going to be perfect, but we'll get the job done. So I hope you liked our video, enjoyed the tour. Be sure to like, subscribe, shoot us any comments like Crystal said. Until next time, we'll see you later. Well, I got up. There you go. I'm sitting on a rock. That's why I'm not sitting. Shoot it to the comments below. Enough. Go lay down. Now. Try again. <laughs> so Come on.